<laughs> yeah, what you said. <laughs> so what's happening? I just wanted to take a quick little video just to show everyone different mm -hmm. types of bunions because there's different stages. So I'm gonna put this foot lower. And we're gonna go put this one low over here. Very good. And how long have they been like this for her? For years and years. Years and they years. They just grew and grew steadily. N bully? No. Even in shoes? No. no. <laughs> have they ever hurt? No. I'm very happy for you. I'm very happy. Very good. Those don't look like men's shoes, but what I would tell her, she should be wearing men's running shoes that are mm. extra wide. Okay. Because even though they're not hurting her, the more width she has, the less problems with this getting bigger. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I know, but look at those are gray and the new modern shoes that are unisex yeah. are almost the same. It can for sure, for sure. So what has happened? Normally we have a straight toe, but this joint is completely dislocated. I can feel the joint all the way over here, completely mm -hmm. off. There's a joint capsule that goes around the joint and when it becomes misplaced or it gets rubbed on, it gets irritated and grows. So this, a lot of this is soft tissue mm. and the bone, but it is very soft. Has it ever become very big or larger than this? A little bit of Okay. There is quite a bit of fluid in here. so. Sometimes, if it ever gets very painful and very tight swollen, sometimes what we do is we remove some of that fluid to shrink it. Mm -hmm. And that's something she can think of if it ever bothers her. Mm -hmm. But again, the wider the shoe, the better okay. it's going to be. Okay. It's amazing. I'm very happy that you're walking and using the feet and this isn't bothering her. It's very good. Okay. Yeah, it's very good. <laughs> Yes. It, it might look different, but if she's not having pain, that is the most important thing because the foot's still working. Mm -hmm. She just needs to always be wearing wide, wide shoes so this doesn't get bigger. Yeah. It's the irritation from the shoe that mm -hmm. causes people to have pain in their shoe. What is, what is not crazy, but most people would say this, see this and say, go get surgery. Mm -hmm. But to me, if you have no bully and you're walking, don't do anything, leave okay. it because we never know how the foot is going to react after surgery. Mm -hmm. The foot might look straighter, but now the bones are in different alignment, the muscles are in different alignment, and she might not ever be able to walk the same again, might be mm -hmm. more worse. Mm -hmm. So that's why I would suggest the men's running shoes, okay. extra wide. That's okay. the best thing she can do. Yeah. Yeah. So the reason you came in, I'm gonna take a quick look, is because we have this corn on this toe over here. Mm -hmm. It's an open wound, so we're gonna remove some of the dead skin, clean it up. But if we look here, I'm just explaining for the camera, these toes are straight. That's why the pressure is very even. On this side, they're very bent, especially this toe, it's curved like this. Mm -hmm. And that's why this joint is knocking against this joint. If we don't separate the toes, this wound will never heal. So I took one of my typical foot spacers for all the toes, I cut it in half and made a little half one. And we're gonna use it on these three toes to create this space. And that's gonna allow that area to heal. And when we have a wider shoe plus the space, there's no more pressure and the corn will go away. So that's the game plan for today. But I just wanted to share, you know, a very severe bunion, but what's amazing is no pain mm -hmm. and it's not limiting her from everyday activity. So that's amazing.
So tell her she's very tough, very good, strong woman. I'm very <laughs> impressed. <laughs> Wow, impresionado. That's like, that sounds so Spanish. Okay, very happy. Thank you so much for letting me share the feet. Very good.